all welcome and thank you so much for joining me, Alyssa Arundel, for your December 2020 tarot card reading. This is the festive season and so I am in my Christmas shirt, but I am aware that this Christmas is going to be very different for the majority of us in a lot of ways and so I want to use the spread uh, this month to delve into um, some of our past situations, our present and, and future situations. So the reading will be a little bit different to how I usually do it this month um, but I'm hoping that that will help us pick up on more of what we can expect from this season which is going to be so different. If you would like to check out your free three card tarot spread, you can do that by clicking on the link beneath this video. You can also order, uh, you know, your digital spreads or indeed reach out to me for a one-to-one -one consultation. But without further ado, let's get into this reading for your specific zodiac sign. This will be for your sun sign or your rising sign. For me personally, I find that Tarot works best with my son, but that is just me. So please feel free to watch your rising sign as well. So let's see what the cards hold for you this month. Hello Taurus and welcome to your December 2020 tarot card reading. Let's see what your significator card for this month is. So this is a card that's really shining through your situation and it is the world. To be honest, Taurus, this is a fantastic card. This is the last card in the major Arcana series. So it starts with zero with the fool and then we end here at 21 with the world. So something in your life is coming full circle. Those loose ends are going to be tied up this month. And actually, for some of you, this is a card of really good fortune, to be honest, whether this is some kind of monetary gain or just like a real sense of emotional fulfillment or both. Um, some of you could be looking to move location. So definitely you do have the world at your feet in some ways this month. So let's see what the energies are surrounding you. Your past situation here is the Emperor. You pull another major arcana card. The Emperor is somebody who is quite firm uh, it asks you to have a lot of self-discipline. So in your past, Taurus, you may have been required to pull away from something that was negative and maybe you needed to have a lot of self-discipline discipline to do that. You've also been getting organized in some ways. This could be as simple as clearing out things uh, that you no longer need. And when I say as simple as, um, actually that can be a very tricky uh, task because it's hard, right, to, to know what to let go of um, and what we want to keep. So you may have been working through some of that. You may have also been getting structured in terms of your work or if you're in school, you know, you're learning um, some kind of educational process. The other thing this card can mean for some of you is your relationship with your father. And this is a past card. So for some of you, uh, it's going to be different. Obviously, some of you are going to have... Um, brilliant relationships with your fathers and others of you it's not going to have been an easy road. I think thoughts about those relationships whichever side of the coin you sit on with that the thought of this person is going to be in the forefront of your mind I think a little bit this month. Now if you do have a not great relationship with this person I don't say this to um, to frighten you. This is more just sifting through some old stuff that needs to be healed or maybe even stuff that you thought was healed um, and if it isn't even to do with your father it could just be to do with authority in general if you feel like you have a bit of a problem with authority if you feel um, as though you don't quite fit into what the status quo is and what you're being told that you should do with your life um Definitely your past, I feel, Taurus, is, is breaking you out of that state of mind and bringing you into your own um, power. Now, your present situation is the uh, Eight of Cups reverse. So if you are expecting a house move this month, it could mean that it actually doesn't happen as quickly as you would like. It's not to say that it won't happen. It's just when this card appears... Um, a little bit more tricky because the eight is about moving forwards and 
this card is reversed. So something in your life is a bit more stagnant than you would like at the moment, Taurus. But you do have this world card as your significator. So I do just think that this is a temporary delay and it's important not to get too hung up on it. You will hear the news eventually, even if it's not on the exact date that you want. And then your future card here, you have the Page of Swords. Some of you will be signing contracts here this month. Um, if you're signing anything, um, and this is not legal advice, I just want to add, but if you are signing any document, please read through the fine print very carefully. Make sure you know exactly what it is you're getting into. Um, it's not that misunderstandings are going to happen when this card comes up. It's just asking you to be extra cautious, not just take somebody's word for it. If you're asked to sign anything this month, read it through. And if the person's trying to sort of hurry you up, like, oh, you know, it's just, um, just, you know, not relevant information, just sign your name. Um, just say to them, okay, I, I, you know, that's fine. Thank you. But I will read it. Um, to make sure that you're covered. Uh, this could be anything from buying a home, buying a vehicle, um, any kind of legal document. It can also mean that a youth in your life is in need of some support, Taurus. So you could very well be that support for them. And it might see you taking on more of this guy's role. Um, you are seen as the the father figure or even you know if you're female it's um you're still someone's coming to you for ad advice and you have to be that firm voice of reason so it really is a month of things changing a little bit of stagnation stuff from the past coming up but ultimately you are moving forwards but you're doing it in a very uh, logical methodical way this isn't about diving in with emotions this is about uh, very much about brain power this month so there you have your December 2020 tarot card reading I'm really honored to have shared this space with you this month thank you so much for joining me and um, until we speak again next month i'm sending you lots of warm wishes and a very uh, merry and peaceful christmas mm -hmm.